this video we're going to take a TIFF sequence from Maya and convert it into MP4 by using After Effects and Media Encoder. I'll start by importing my sequence of TIFFs. I'll hit Command I with the project window chosen, navigate to my folder, and I will select the first image in the sequence. Now I've selected the first one at the top of the sequence. I could have selected any one of them. But once I've selected one, I need to go down to where it says uh, Import As, and I'm going to choose Create Composition. I'll choose TIFF Sequence. And if the uh, frames are not sequential, maybe one, two, three, and four, maybe it's every other, one, two, four, six, etc., I'll need to click on Force Alphabetical Order. And I'll hit Open. And it's going to prompt me that I've got alpha information on this file, so that's perfectly fine. I'll click OK. And you'll see what happens is it launches your composition based on the aspect ratio of the video that you generated. And if I was to play through my timeline now, the entire sequence is laid out for me as if it were a movie file. So all those single frames have been converged into one file. Now with the file selected, I'm going to go to File export and I'm going to choose media encoder and that will launch that secondary application that speaks to both Premiere and After Effects allowing me to compress my video files for certain formats in this case it's going to be a simple mp4 that we can use for multiple purposes this particular purpose will be to put it in a PDF I'm waiting for the composition to appear in the upper right hand corner in the queue. Once my After Effects composition appears in the upper right hand corner in the queue, I will now choose H.264 if it's not available through the drop down menu. And I'm going to click on the H.264. And it's going to build a preview of the composition that is in After Effects. You may have to find an alternate way to doing it and I'll cover that here as well. But if all goes well, I should see my composition appear. And there's my sequence. Now I would go to where it says Output Name, and I'd name it and direct it to where I would like to locate this. And then on the right-hand side, where it says Basic Video Settings, I can go in and I can determine the frame rate, the size of the file, and if I need audio or not. Now there's no audio with this, so I'll take the audio off and I'm going to change the frame rate. My intentions are to embed this in a PDF, so I'll drop the frame rate down to 10. I'll click OK, and then in the upper right hand corner, I'll click on the little green triangle, and that will generate my MP4. Now, in the event that dynamic linking isn't working, and in Media Encoder, you get a bunch of color bars, uh, instead of the preview of the TIFF sequence, you'll have to go back into After Effects. And with that composition, you'll have to go to Composition and add to Render Queue. And in Render Queue, I would again direct it to a folder where I can access it. And I would click on Lossless. And I would just confirm that the format is QuickTime, and then where it says Format Options, I would click on that and confirm that it's probably animation. And I'll click OK, click OK, and now I'll render that out. Now I'm going to open Media Encoder by itself. So I'll go down to my dock, I'll click on Media Encoder. And once Media Encoder loads, I will drag my MOV file directly into the queue. And now the procedure is exactly the same as the TIFF sequence. I would click on H.264, find a place to direct the finished movie to. In this case, I don't need audio. And the frame rate is already set for 10 because of the last time I used it. And now I would click OK, and once again click on the green triangle. And if I was to go ahead